Hi and welcome back to Digital Toolcase. In this video, as you can see, I'm inside the Artspace AI platform. If you don't know it, it's an AI images tool and as you may know, I really love it because, in my opinion, it's very well made. Most importantly, it's still possible to purchase it with a lifetime deal. So you can get a lifetime license to generate a good number of AI images at a really low price. I'll show you that later. Instead, what I want to talk about in this video is the AI-generated images with art space that portray people. As you can see, I have a series of images that I generated here in the platform. You might notice small differences between these various images, mostly in their appearance. Some look a bit more realistic, while others do not. Even in the art space Facebook group, users are generating a ton of images and as you might notice from this very beautiful image, it almost looks fake. It resembles a plastic girl, you can see the overlay shiny skin and in this case the shorts look quite artificial. These images and many of the images recently generated in Artspace by users uh, use an AI model available within Artspace called Nova 2024 Flux. It's the latest AI model that came to Artspace and it's very very effective at generating certain things, however it has a somewhat plastic-like effect on faces and people which can be seen better in this image if I zoom in. Here we can say that perhaps the plastic effect isn't fully visible, but in other images it's much more apparent. They are very beautiful images, but they are a bit unrealistic, so I wanted to try to optimize this issue because this image, for example, looks much more realistic. The reason is quite simple, this image was not generated with Nova 2024 Flux, which is obviously not the only model available in Artspace. Instead, it was generated with Photorealism 2024. So, the first piece of advice I can give you if you're using Artspace is to use this AI model to generate faces or people, as it's more realistic even though it's not the newest model. The advantage of Nova 2024 Flux is that it's better at incorporating text into images, as you can see in these two cases. Ok, so right now I'm using Nova 2024 Flux and I've copied this prompt, which should generate a girl with Japanese features and so on. So let's try to leave everything as it is. I haven't activated this boost visual vibrance, which optimizes brightness and lighting if specific prompts are written, but let's try generating this image with Flux 2024 and see what happens. Ok, here's my image, it's not too bad, however, if I zoom it, we notice this effect that looks a bit too fake, too plastic. I've already done some tests in this case, and we can try adjusting it in various ways, such as slightly modifying the prompt and trying to explain to AI that this person's skin shouldn't be perfect, so I could add the word realistic. I've also added this clarification that the girl does not have perfect skin. I could also add in the negative prompt section, which tells the AI what I don't want in the image, something like plastic skin and perfect skin. It's not guaranteed to work, because here it's mainly used to exclude specific objects or elements that I don't want in the image, but let's still try generating again with 2024 Flux with these two small edits. Ok, here's my image, let's zoom it. In this case, it's a very young girl, but I see that we more or less have the same effect. What does this mean? In my opinion, it's simply the way this specific AI model works, when you generate this type of images. And it's quite difficult to eliminate that plasticity. I had managed to do it with this image, for example, where I had worked a bit on the prompt. 
Let's make another attempt because we asked the AI to generate the image of a 20 year old girl. Let's try to change the age and see what happens. So 50 years old. Here's the image. Let's zoom in. And I'd say it's a bit better, but this result is obviously influenced by the age of this woman. However, there are still small issues, in my opinion, with this Nova 2024 Flux. Let's keep the exact same prompt and do a comparison of the different AI models, because I believe that based on the image you want to create, it's better to use different models. Let's try with the 2024 preview, which is the AI model just before Nova 2024 Flux. Let's use the same prompt. I'm not sure what the result will be, but we're here to find it out. Ok, here's the image, let's zoom it again. Doesn't look too bad, but I don't think it's the optimal result yet. By the way, changing the AI model also activates other parameters. In this case, it's possible to use the seed image, or there are presets that can be selected. In this case, we could choose realism. I hadn't selected any preset before. Let's try generating this image again. Ok, here it is. So it should be slightly better, more realistic. Indeed, you can start to see some signs of the skin that could be freakless or something like small wrinkles. So in my opinion, there's a small improvement. Let's try changing the model again. Let's go to Nova 2023, which is even older. And in this case, let's go straight to realism. I expect a bit less from this model because it's older, so it should theoretically generate a worse image. Here it is, and indeed, in this case, as you can see, the result is quite different. Here it looks almost like a drawing rather than an image, it doesn't look like a photo. That's understandable because we're talking about a model that is over a year old. Let's move on and go to Photorealism 2024, which I believe could be the best AI model within art space at the moment for generating images that deceive faces and people. Let's try regenerating the same prompt with this model as well. Here it is. As you can see, let's ignore this hand that it's not perfect at all. But uh, let's focus on the face, which is starting to look more realistic in my opinion. This is because this AI model, Photorealism 2024, is new and updated, but it's also better trained for this type of images. So my advice, if you're using art space and looking for slightly more realistic images, it's probably better to use Photorealism 2024 rather than Flux 2024, which produces very nice images, maybe with more vibrant colors, but with people it tends to look a bit more artificial, while it might work better for other types of images. As for the lifetime deal, as I mentioned earlier, Artspace is still offering it and the price is really low. I'll show you all the plans you have available. It starts at just $67 one-time payment for generating 500 images per month for life. If you need to generate more images, there are plans for $117, $187, up to the highest plan, which offers unlimited images each month for life, including future updates and new AI models that will come to art space at $247. You can find the link in the description along with a code. Try using it, because if it's still active when you try it, you'll get a nice additional discount. If you think about it, you only pay once and you can generate unlimited images even with future updates. In my opinion, as long as this deal is available, it's an excellent lifetime deal. I've already seen a lot of people who have purchased it and are using it. All these people are very active within the art space Facebook group and generate many, many very interesting images. In fact, if we go to the official art space gallery, 
we can see some images generated by other users with the model used, the prompt they applied, and this can give you some inspiration. There are images in various styles of all kinds because obviously you can generate them based on what you really want. In my opinion, it's an opportunity not to be missed because there are many tools that create images with AI today, but they all operate on a monthly subscription basis if you don't want to face too many limitations over time and the cost can obviously add up month after month. Here again, the lifetime deal is still active, as long as it is, I will take advantage of it. And indeed, the cost is quite low when you consider that you can use it forever. There are obviously other features that I haven't shown you, but I did cover them in my official art space review video, which you can find here on my channel. I'll leave the link in the description and also by clicking here above. I'd say that's all for this video, I hope you found it a bit useful, if so click on the like button and subscribe to the channel, thank you for sticking around and as always by clicking here you can see more content on my channel. That's it, I'll see you soon in the next video.